and Leah's and see what is coming for March 2019. So um, you guys can do a um, timestamp for the Leah's, okay? So we're calling in the angels um, of love, Archangel Shamuel, to show us what is coming in for the Leah's Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. In the love section for March 2019. Okay. Alrighty. So for you, Leah's first week, the businessmen are coming up, the entrepreneurs. Um, they are coming up in the first week. So some of you could be uh woo, so um some of you could be getting married or um someone who is working as a CEO or uh, yeah, could be asking you the ends in marriage. You may be seeing this person for um, um, some time. But some of you could be uh, meeting a married man and going out on a date. Okay? So, again, some of you could be um, getting married or ask the ends of marriage to a very, very rich man. Or some of you could be going out on a date with a married man. Nothing is wrong with that. And passion. I don't know. There is a lot of passion that is coming up for a lot of sign in this month. Passion. I love this. I love this. I so, so love this. Okay. So some of you is going to be meeting a business man. Okay. This is someone from a past lifetime. Whoever this person is, you have known this person in a past lifetime. Okay. And um, whatever is happening is as if uh, this this person it could be you went for a job interview and you met this person uh, you could met this person on the metro on the bus or but whoever this person is you could be this person could come in for coffee and then meet you and you know they constantly come back. But it's someone you know from a past lifetime, okay? Freedom is coming up. And some of you could be want to free yourself from your marriage. So, so your Julius, if you're married, some of you might think about freeing yourself from your marriage, okay? Whatever the situation is. And some of you are going to find out that your husband is seeing someone else, definitely. You're going to be finding out that your husband is seeing someone else, okay? And this person is either ex love or someone that he has known um, from a past lifetime, okay? I might, this came out again. Some of you, you could realize that your wife is seeing a younger man. Possibility exists. Um, so be aware. Your wife could be seeing a younger man, so be aware. Some of you could be dating um, a black guy. Some of you could be trying out a black guy. Some of you uh, have never dated a black guy, and you're going to be trying out a black guy. Some of you might be um, realizing that your partner is in a love triangle. If you're in a, um, a relationship with a black guy, you're going to be finding out that this guy have multiple partners, okay? Not one, not two, not three, but this man has a lot of partners. Don't do it. STDs out there, there are things that can't be cured. It could be you, Leas, because I know. I got a cousin. <laughs> oh, my OMK. So, <laughs> oh my God. Friendship. Some of you could be meeting a young man and it's just going to be a friendship. He doesn't want a relationship. He just, um, you know, some of you young people just don't want to be in a relationship. You just want to have a friendship. Okay. That could be it too. Um, some of you are going to be finding out if you're in a relationship with a black guy, you're going to be looking in his phone and you're going to be realizing that girl, you're like the sixth person he's seeing. <laughs> this guy is all over the place. 
And I love this energy. And I think it's so funny because you have the dating queen, but you don't have the dating king in this deck. And that is so funny um, because it's kind of sexist if you think about it, because men are always the one that is having multiple partners, not only women. Men have been doing it for centuries and centuries. Nobody ever talks about it. But now you have the dating queen, but there is no dating a king. And this is the person that has multiple people going at the same time. This is the, the woman or man that will be dating three, four, five people at the same time. And it is so funny. I've been looking through this deck and that is one of the negative thing about this deck is that the dating king isn't in this deck, which is a little bit strange. If you ask me, this is definitely a little bit strange because we have the dating queen, but we don't have the dating king and that's kind of strange. Um, anyway, all right, you guys are definitely, um, you ladies who are dating and having um, a lot, and it, I'm seeing it with the men and the women, there's some dating king and queens out there. You guys are the people who have more than three people that you're seeing at the same time, okay? You're dating, okay? Some of you um, could be also married. Some of you could be um, in these groups where you connect with each other and have sex. Um, that's coming up here because hot passion is here. So um, some of you could be joining. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name, but it's like partners club or swingers club. I'm seeing that some of you could be joining that. And I think some married people could be thinking about um, having swingers uh, or going to join a swingers club or going to start a swingers club because it's here. Yeah. It's like in order to, you know, keep your marriage alive, you're going to be deciding um, to join the singers club. I'm seeing that some of you are connecting um, to someone and they're going to be introducing you to it. And um, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and, and there's something with you, Leah's. A lot of you, Leah's, are having multiple, you're dating multiple people. A lot of Leos are dating multiple people, okay? And why you're doing that is because you want freedom. You don't want to be caught up in your relationship. That is the reason why you're doing it. You don't want to um, be in a relationship or a marriage. Some of you are get, just getting out of relationships, long relationships and marriage. And you are um, and you're just connecting and just, um, you know, dating. Um, you're looking, you know, it's all about just connecting with other different people and just seeing randomly people. So that is happening for you guys. Some of you are going to be returning um, to uh, X and this was someone you were married to in a past life. You're just definitely going to be returning to an X. This is someone you were married to in a past lifetime. I'm seeing the young men. Wow, the young men are going to be looking for these hot, passionate relationship. Whatever is happening, you young men are going to be looking for sizzling passion in your relationship. Um, some of you ladies are going to be texting. Um, and connecting with other men, other women, um, because you're looking for passionate. You're looking for, and, and this is why um, Swingers Club came in, Partners Club came in, because that is the energy that is coming up for you, Leah's. Because I'm, here you are dating women are going to be, um, are the people who are dating, the, the dating king and queens, 
um, they're going to be joining a group and a color collaboration. And this is what I was saying to a lot of people. If you listen to my year reading or the full moon reading, um, definitely, definitely, um, uh, the, the sexual um, evolution is going to be coming back. And you can see this happening to the Leos, okay? The sexual evolution is coming back where um, sex group, um, sex, um, sex group, people are, you know, swingers and that sort of a thing that is happening. You can definitely see this happening. But the, the, there are men, especially married men, they're going to be also looking for this passion. Married men are really going to be looking for this. They're going to be dating a lot of people and looking for this passion because it's as if they feel as if their passion is not there. And, you know, especially businessmen and that sort of a thing, married businessmen, they're going to be going to clubs, um, bars, and that sort of a thing looking for this passion. Okay. So um, that's what I'm getting. Now we're going to be looking deeper to see how it's going to be affecting you guys and see what is happening so for the businessmen okay mm -hmm. all righty past life who is coming back oh lord there's a lot of party party freedom um some of you want to free yourself from your child, that's not so nice. And some of you want to free yourself from a new love, okay? So, the businessman and the courting man, okay? Um, you are married, but you're gonna be meeting someone else. And this person is a, um, um some of you, could be meeting someone of the same sign, whether an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, and it is your soulmate. Okay, and you're married, but you are definitely because this person is coming from a past life. Um, this is someone you have already been connected to. You're married for the ones for the people who are married who is going to be meeting this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. You're going to end up having. Um, double relationship because you don't want to let her go. So you're going to be in the relationship until you get divorced and you're going to marry her. And it's because your wife has become a wallpaper and that is a reason why, or because your husband has become a wallpaper, but this is really to do with the men. It's because your wife has become a wallpaper and you're looking for passion. Um, you're going to divorce your wife at some stage. You, you're going to be meeting this person in the month of March, but at some stage later down the road, you're going to divorce your wife and be with this person. Because they're going to be giving you what you want, okay? Past lives, some of you are going to be meeting people um, from your past life. You're going to be um, partying, connecting. Um, you, you could be... Um, uh, um, uh, being in partnership, clubbing, um you know, changing partners and that sort of a thing. And you're going to be meeting someone in a past life. Be careful because this person is rarely sneaky. Okay. So it could be, um, you join a swingers club. You're not supposed to be seeing anyone out of that, but this person is going to want you to see them more and it's going to cost you your marriage so be careful or your relationship so you could be um joining up in a swingers club whatever it is but someone wants to see you more and it's going to cost your relationship so be aware of this some of you want your freedom back some of you have a child and this is if you're saying you know I wish I had my freedom. That's not very nice, okay? And 
the child needs your love and you're you're always away you're always away you you know as soon as you can get away from this child you're always away and that's not very nice you know um it's as if you want your freedom back and this child just wants your love you know and uh, you're getting pissed off with this child but the reason why you had this child is because you were trying to hold your man you try to hold your man with this child and it didn't happen because the man left you so now you're no more interested in this child and this is really sad there's something wrong with you okay um and this child is so loving this child all this child need is some love and comfort and because you're so pissed off that the child father is there and not there anymore and you had this child you're just like annoying annoyed by the child and you just want your freedom that's not very nice because you should have known that in the beginning you can't have a child to keep a man because if a man decides to leave he's going to leave you okay and that's the biggest um thing with women is that you want to have a child to keep a man no because the man is going to be out but you have the child for 18 years and you have to take care of the child you know don't ever do that it's just it's a mind thing, you ladies. It's a mind thing. Okay, the union. The union. What is happening with the wedding? Who is going to be getting married? Who's... Ooh. Ooh, la, la. Okay. Um, all right. You ladies and gentlemen that is married, you could be making a decision because you find out that your partner has cheated on you and there has your partner have several relationships. So this is what I was saying to you ladies. Some of you ladies, you're going to be finding out that your husband um, is seeing someone else at his work and you're going to be heartbroken and you're going to um, make a decision to leave your um marriage okay there's going to be some heartbreaks and you're going to decide to leave your marriage because you realize that your husband has been having um a relationship with this woman for a very long time um for some of you some of you he has just met her but he spends most of his time with her and uh, there's a lot of sadness for some of you ladies a lot of sadness this is not really nice um, a lot of sadness is coming up for you ladies and you're going to make a decision to leave your husband okay and it's sad um, I don't know I, I I don't want that bullshit you know that bullshit is not for me it's not for me um, here again love triangle so um, the center of your month is all about the love triangles. You're going to be finding out that your partners are cheating on you, okay? And some of you who are with darker men, okay, um, you're going to be finding that they are in love triangles. They have um, love here, love there. They're at Swingers Club. They're all over the place. Everybody knows them, you know, that sort of a thing. And... Um, some of oh damn <laughs> okay so some of you um are in a love triangle and one of the men is going to be <laughs> offering you marriage <laughs> okay so some of you leas or um that is in that is having um two people that you're dating two people one of them are going to be asking you the ants in marriage and I am going to say yes say yes and again some of you people who are married is going to be finding out that your partner has been in these love triangles your partner has been going to these clubs and um, he's gonna offer if you want to come to keep your marriage alive okay damn <laughs> The world is changing. <laughs> I'm sorry. The world is changing. But, uh, you know, whoever this person is, they're going to be saying, you know, um, I don't want to lose you. Um, and I'm inviting you, um, you know, to come and join us in these um, whatever um, scenes, uh, changing of partners, whatever you guys call it. And, 
Um, and it's because you want to keep your relationship alive, okay? And whatever the reason is, the offer is going to come um, um, to join. And also the offer of marriage is going to come. So some of you who, um, some of you really have to make a decision against um, two people you're seeing because um, it is really going to come up in the month of March that you may have to make a decision because someone is going to be offering you the ends in marriage. And I'm saying, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay, you young man, what's happening to the young man? Okay. Mm. Some of you who are in a relationship um, with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, um, he could be offering you just more than a relationship, but he could be offering you stability in your world. And I will say, go for it. Okay. He's a young man. But um, he cares about you. Um, he really, um, it's like you make his heart beat. And definitely he's going to be offering you stability in your world. And I would say go for it. You know, he's a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Um, he's the lover, you know, and he really is. But he's not coming in just for the, the game and the play. He wants... He wants a strong, stable relationship with you. Take it, okay? So there's a lot of nice offers that is coming in. Now, with the dating scenes, again, I was right. Um, my channel gave that um, some of you are going to be invited um, to go on the swingers date and to, to join in with other couples. And yes, this offer is going to come. Whether or not you go, um, your partner or someone is going to be offering you. Okay, so whether or not you go, you could go out on a date. It could be a swingers date night between you and your partner. And the offer is really going to be coming in. Okay, maybe it's something he said, hey, try it. Or, you know, you can try it or you don't have to try it. But you know, try it. And if you like it, okay, we can do this to keep our marriage alive. Definitely. Cause you can see this happening. All right. The black guys, Ooh, the black guys are coming in and, uh, um, the two of cups. Okay. So some of you could be protecting yourself and holding off a relationship with a black guy. Um, you could have dated this person and then, you know, he wants to see you. You could have met this um, guy um, at work and then he wants to see you and he's trying to connect with you. Um, and you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not sure if this is what I want. You could meet him in a swingers club, a bar, whatever it is. And you're trying to protect yourself from him because you don't know. Maybe I've never been with a black guy before. Okay. For you, black men, you could be, um, um, you could have met someone and the person keep on texting you, texting you, texting you. And I think it's just better you say, Hey, look, um, I am not interested in you. So, you know, the reason why I haven't said anything is because, or I had a good time, but this is not what I'm looking for. But, you know, just stop blocking the person. Um, you know, just say what it is. Just say, hey, look, uh, we went out, we had a nice time, or it was a horrible date. Just tell the person so the person can move on with their life, okay? Uh, and it's best to just do that. Why? you know just tell the person it didn't work out whatever it was it didn't work out and or you know you know because you keep on protecting yourself from this person just tell the person you know it didn't click and that's it some of you are going to be um some of you your friendship is going to be ending okay and you're going to be moving on so some of you could be in um having a friendship with um someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or and this is it especially if you go out on a date or 
you know, you have met someone and, you know, you don't feel the click becomes, uh, you know, tell the person, you know, I don't really feel a click, but we can be friends that we can hang out. Um, the chemistry isn't there. Just say it, you know, let's be friends, whatever. The chemistry isn't there anymore, but don't, because definitely a friendship is going to be ending for some of you. And um, the friendship, and, and sometimes you can meet people, you go on a, out on a date, it's not working, it's okay. You don't have to block people and you ha don't have to, you know, like do these things so that people feel bad or that sort of a thing. No, you can just say, hey, then click, we can still be friends. Uh, or, you know, some of you are just going to end a friendship and it's okay. End the friendship, move on, but tell the person, you know, whatever the situation is. Um, I wasn't feeling the click and sorry, but I, you know, are you handed? And that's how things are. You know, don't, don't just leave people hanging because, um, that drives people crazy. Think about it. If you like someone and you go out with someone and you know, you haven't really, you don't feel the click and you know, this person feel the click and you don't feel the click. You know, you need to tell a person that, you know, just don't leave them hanging because it's kind of sad because this person keep on thinking, you know, what was so bad? Why, you know, why the person didn't care about me? What did I do? No, you didn't do anything, but there's just no click. Some people can have a chemical connection with you and some people don't, but just tell the person so that they can understand, hey, I got to look further because I had a click with this person, but they didn't have the click with me. Okay. All right, a hot, passionate love. Some of you are going to be finding some hot, passionate love with the cancers. <laughs> oh, righty, you can't. Oh, mm -mm -mm. you, Leos, are going to be finding some hot, passionate love with the cancers. Okay, it's just hot, passionate love. It's not really a real relationship. It's just that. The sex is good, and that's just about it. Okay, don't don't even think that there's marriage and everything that is going to come afterwards. This is not going to happen. It's just that the, the the it's just good. Okay, and that is something that you get once or twice per week, but don't expect a relationship. Okay, but it's going to be good. Okay, it's going to be like whoa. I've never heard this before. <laughs> it's just sex, honey. <laughs> My, I would prefer to have a cheesecake than having sex. Okay. I know it's bad, but I love my cheesecake. Oh my God. I'm not even supposed to eat cheese. I have an allergic reaction to cheese, but I swear I will take those tablets, eat that piece of cheesecake. Oh, it's so desirable. I love cheesecake. If I have to choose between cheesecake and sex, I'm choosing my cheesecake. I'm sorry, but this passion, whatever you're going to be receiving, it's going to be good. Okay. All right. Let's look at communication. What's happening with the communication? Okay. Some of you are going to be meeting someone from past lifetime. And whatever is happening, you're both going to be um, texting back and forth, texting back and forth. But uh, um, I don't know. People are just so strange. Okay. So someone from the past is definitely going to be coming back in your life. Um, but what you're not aware of is that this person is themselves in a love triangle. This is a black guy. So you could have, um, you know, um, connected with this black guy in whatever way, but this, this guy there, he has a lot of fires burning. Okay. Um, wherever you have met this guy, whether it's in a bar, whether it's in a swingers club, whatever it was, and you have met this guy. Damn, mm, mm, mm. he's going to be texting you, but um, it's someone you know from a past lifetime, but a lot of lies he's telling you. I'm sorry. This guy is texting you a lot of lies. He's, he's bullshitting you, okay? Don't believe, uh, don't believe a word he's saying, okay? He, he's having these... Don't believe a word he's saying, okay? He's bullshitting you, okay? He's just lying to you, okay? 
Um, it's someone you know from a past lifetime. And all of a sudden you met him or you must have, must have known him from college or whatever it is. And then all of a sudden you met him again and, oh, full of shit. Bullshit he's telling you. Don't believe his lies. Don't believe his lies. Okay. So we're looking at the last energies for you, Leah's, you ladies and gentlemen, you dating king and queens. We're looking at the dating king and queens to see what's happening with the dating king and queens. Um, the Leah's dating queen and queens. What is happening for the Leah's dating king and queen? Okay. Um, okay. You um, ladies... Um, you ladies that are dating multiple people, um, there is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that you're dating. Now, hmm, this is an older man, and he cares about you and he likes you, but you're just gonna tell him, hey, baby, this is this 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 is it. Listen, you're married. I can't see you every day. I'm young. I'm vibrant. I want to go out every night, and you know. I don't want to just be hooked up with one person. You know, you can give me all the gifts and everything, but you're just going to tell them the truth and he's going to accept the truth and he's still going to support you because he cares about you and whatever and however you make him feel, damn. However and however you make him feel, he's going to stay with you. So, you know, whatever is happening, you're just going to be telling him the truth. Listen, I see you. I'm not going to, you know, you have to understand that I'm young. I'm vibrant. I want to go out. I want to feel good. And fine, if you want to buy me the stuff that I want and take care of me, okay, I'll make the time for you. This is what you're going to be doing. And, you know, it's going to it's gonna work out in your favor because you're just upfront and you're just telling him how it is. And um, it's going to be good for some of the people who are same sex. You're going to be meeting an older man and you're just going to tell him how it is. So whether you are in same sex with a woman or a man, yeah, you're just going to be open and you're just going to say, listen, I love the, the, the high life. I love the, um, the high life. And you know, this is who I am. I want to be, uh, and I want to do this and they're going to understand. And then, they're going to support you because you're just being honest with them. And this is beautiful. 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 Um, whatever is happening, some of you, oh, that's my kitchen. I had to get this card. So whatever is happening, some of you, um, is definitely going to be meeting this Pisces cancer or a scorpion man. Um, whoever this man is, is going to play a significant role in your life. Okay. This man can become, um, a love, um, um, you know, <laughs> tell them to get some rest. <laughs> okay. Um, Antoinette Harris. <laughs> I wonder about the joys of being a beautiful by the seas. <laughs> Whatever you <laughs> um, tell them to get some rest. Love. Oh my God. Anthony, what's wrong with you? Hello, Opsi. Okay, Ops the obvious this is going to be coming up. So, oh my God. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really love this Leo reading. It's going to be online, okay? I'm doing it live so that I can give you guys more minutes because um, my laptop is kind of full, and that's why I can't do long readings. It's about to crash, so I have to get myself a new laptop. Okay, so that's...